Howdy folks, Comic Skatekeeper here, and a TV review. While being bored off my ass babysitting, I watched a, a really odd TV show called Night Flyers. Apparently it came out a few years ago, it was by uh, George R.R. R. Martin. It was going to be the next Game of Thrones-y type thing, but yeah, really, really not though. Uh, hey, where to begin? Uh, it starts off on a ship. A uh, very large ship with, you know, rotating gravity sections and agricultural domes. And, you know, it's a gigantic ship, but you don't know who owns the ship or what the ship is for. And the captain is incredibly strange. And only appears as a hologram. And keeps spying on people through the cameras. And has really strange eyes. And, yeah. No one seems to be wearing a uniform, which is really weird to me out. The captain's got, like, this super cool black jumpsuit. And his first officer is dressed like a fucking bouncer. It's like, who are you? Are you? Do you do admin? What the fuck is going on? So, yeah. And then other things occur. There's a psychic on board that they don't trust. And like, because, well, to be honest, he's a real cunt. So they're absolutely right. I mean, you're supposed to think they're a bit prejudiced about it. But it's absolutely correct because he's an absolute psychopath. And, yeah, there's a woman whose job it is to merge with the computer with a jack in her arm. She's incredibly fucking strange looking. And, yeah, it's, it's, it really, really feels like less than the money they spent on it. Somehow it feels so low budget. It feels ill-conceived as well. It's like, let's get any old actors in because half the cast really can't act. It's really, really strange. I, um, I can imagine they spent a wheelbarrow full of money making those sets. What a fucking wasted opportunity. So, yeah, the universe building is beyond pathetic. Nothing feels real or consistent. And, of course, yeah, there's, there's ghosts in the machine. And, yeah, it's just, um, it's a mess. <laughs> That's the only way to say it. I could complain about a little bit of annoying this and a little bit annoying that and how nothing seems to be consistent, but it's an absolute fucking shit show. There's nothing else to say about it. Uh, well, but I will. So, yeah, the ghost of the captain's mom is in, living in the computer and there's a, there's a big house. And, yeah, it's very strange. And some of the, some of the things that aren't explained are mysteries and they're not quite interesting enough to be... <laughs> it's nice to be explored so it's just sort of left blank and you, you just don't care enough but yeah it's on Netflix and I think it was a sci-fi channel show and it is mainly appalling so anyway let me end on a positive note um, the thrust of the story with them going to see the uh, the aliens who were passing on the edge of their solar system that was kind of an interesting concept because these they know about these aliens before and they've never been able to co can't make contact with them the idea that the probe comes back altered and twisted in a strange, incredible way it was interesting. Um, yeah, there's a few other bits and pieces that were quite good, but all the while my back of my head was buzzing at how, how shit the acting was. Almost all, all the cast. And yeah, it's. It kind of reminds me of that thing I go on about a lot. You have a failed science fiction show. This show only made it to one season. And then a bunch of arseholes say, science fiction doesn't work on TV. And because you put no effort in. You you make you made a shit TV show. You spent a lot of money making wank. Kind of like Star Wars. The new ones. But yeah, so I would say sci-fi does work on TV. Shit doesn't work on TV. Sci-fi does work on TV. Shit doesn't work on TV. It's like, uh, I've said this a hundred times, but um, J. Michael Straczynski said, when you have a cop show, you get a, a mystery writer or a cop show writer. But when you have a science fiction show, you get the fellow who wrote Love Boat. It's exactly the same thing as what's going on with Doctor Who right now. It's... People who've never read science fiction in their entire lives, and it shows sort of a, a holding their nose while 
slumming it in sci-fi kind of attitude you can smell a mile away uh, anyway so it's uh it's a show that exists so it's a big giant avoid it's a what not to do tour de force how's that okay take care folks later